is what's the goal? What is John trying to get at with this letter? And I would summarize it this way. John is trying to get us to repentance. He's trying to get us to repentance. Because I think there are three ways you can read this book, and two of them are wrong. <laughs> um, to understand that, we need to understand the concept of repentance. I think sometimes people think that repentance is just saying you're sorry. Um, it's really more than that. The, the way the old theologians talked about it is repentance is contrition and faith. Contrition and faith. Contrition is feeling sorrow over your sin. Faith is trusting that Jesus has forgiven that sin. That's repentance. And I think if you forget one of those two things, either of those two things, you go down one of the wrong paths when reading 1 John. So for some people, um, they're going to say that repentance is um, just saying you're sorry. Uh, they have the, the faith portion that says Jesus is always going to forgive me, but the contrition is not really there. They're kind of like the three-year-old child who like their mom comes to him and says, say sorry. They're like, sorry. They're not actually sorry, Right? They're just going through the motions in order to get out of the problem. The word repentance literally in Greek means to change direction, to turn around, to change your mind, to actually alter the way that you live, not to just say sorry and keep walking the same direction. And I think the temptation as you read 1 John is to see these things that Jesus says, like anyone who believes in Jesus must live like Jesus, or if you say you know him but don't know his commands, then, then you're a liar and the truth is not in you. And I think we can read those things and then say, yeah. Oh, John. <laughs> yeah, I guess I do that. Well, go on with my week. But to essentially continue to do the cultural Christian thing, which is to say, I'm just going to keep calling myself a Christian even if my life doesn't reflect it. On the other hand, I think there are some who forget the faith part of repentance. So they do feel sorry for their sin, and they do want to make changes, but what they think is that if I make the changes, then I'll be righteous with God. And so they'll look at these commands of 1 John and they'll say, okay, well, if I start reading my Bible more, or if I'm there for the Lord's Supper every Sunday, or if I'm fill in the blank, then I'm going to be a good Christian. That's forgetting the faith part of repentance. You're feeling the sorrow, you're feeling the contrition, but you're forgetting that Jesus has already paid for you. And in the same way that, um, for example, like if I come home from work and my wife has uh, swept the, the floor and I sweep the floor after that, it's not only unnecessary, but kind of offensive. We do the same thing with Jesus, right? Jesus has already forgiven us, and then we come in and say, yeah, but i got to do some good works in order to get my forgiveness. It's unnecessary, and it's kind of offensive. So what does God want us to see? What does John want us to see in repentance in this text? He wants us to look at ourselves and sorrow over our sin with contrition. But then remember that we have an advocate with the Father, which we'll unpack what that means, but we have an advocate with the Father who forgives us our sins and purifies us from all unrighteousness so that we can go back into this world living the physical reality that because God came in flesh, we too, as those in Christ, can live in flesh lives of love to each other. 